caribou are Tutu and Inubak. They are in really important to us every day. It's a huge part of our culture. This is what we eat in our culture in Kelvig. I'm Jade from Kelvig. I love Tutu because it's good. We make lots of stuff with it. And we hunt them. At Owlock, I like to play out. At Owlock, I learned how to take out the tongue. How does it make you feel when you help grind and cut to do? It makes me feel happy. How does it make you feel happy? It just makes me happy. I learned how to cut to do by my mom and Kion. My favorite food of the caribou is alutahawk, hamburgers, and wontons. To do, to do, to do, public duck. To do, to do, to do, public duck. My name is Kion Levin, and I'm from Wisconsin. Growing up, I always went out camping, I always went out hunting to do with my dad, my grandparents, and my uncles. You know, it was always fun learning how to do it, how to catch tutu, how to cut them, how to store it, put it away, and you know, just sharing with everybody. When I'm out on the land, it's so peaceful and quiet. I wouldn't trade it for anything else in the world. Including our children and the whole process of cutting and preparing to do is so important. Whether it be part of the cutting process, being outside, hunting, observing, grinding, cooking, eating, and just being out on the land. Being able to visually see, hear, smell, touch is the best way to learn. My name is Jerica and today we're going to show you what it looks like in our lives, one day in our shoes. My husband, he is a provider. He is the provider for our family. So he goes out to Dulac, which means he goes out on the land to go hunting for to do for caribou, which is a big part of our diet in our family. Processing our own nikapiak, our own native food, is a family ordeal. We all work together and we all depend on each other to get the work done. Today we're going to show you how to make to do burgers. Cut the tutu meat into chunks. Add the tutu meat into the grinder. Include some of the fat. Tutu is a very lean meat. With the extra meat, you can vacuum seal them and make sure that when you vacuum seal, make them flat so that when you add them into the freezer, you will have a lot of space left over. Make sure to label your bags as well. For the tutu burgers, you will use one egg, some breadcrumbs, and a little bit of kunak salt and spice and mix with your hand. Shape the burgers with your hands into patties. Cut up your Mushrooms and onions, saute them in butter, add some butter to a pan and add your patties. Cook on both sides until nice and brown. You can add cheese and other veggies or whatever you like to eat with your burgers and enjoy. Tutu burgers are the best burgers. <laughs>